Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And today we're going to be focusing on, I don't know, something. Right, 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 of course not something. I'll have a big, big plan. I just need to find out what it is. Right, so I forgot. Did I forget something here? Looks like I did not. Oh, maybe here. Uh, right. Right, right, right. Murmansk needs to be assigned to crap load of these. So let's see. Murmansk uh, needs to help us with these. Tadam, 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 tadam. Okay, so you can see that whole crap load of Murmansk uh, stations here. Well, the Murmansk is helping out with these stations. So I'm going to go and assign several of these as well, because they're going to require some materials to be assigned here. We're going to build a couple of underpasses. Now, uh, we have a couple of nice updates from Manuel, who said, well, oh, sorry, sorry, no name dropping, from you guys in the comment section, who said that he prefers overpasses to underpasses. I wanted to mention something about this. Now, uh, we are all about form over function. So function has zero uh, leverage over us here. So form is everything. It needs to look beautiful. Function is a secondary to form. Okay, that being said, I will just address uh, function uh, side of things in this game. So, uh, if you go to F3, you can see your underground uh, of your country. Here and there, you can have underground passage. Some, some of them have more, some of them have less. Some of them have something looking like a subway and being used quite a lot. This is something I haven't noticed before. Uh, how much people of Mormonsk are actually using the underpasses and how useful they are. I am really, really happy to see this. Uh, it's really nice that they are actually, you know, utilizing these expensive projects and that's really, really good. Um, right, so if you go to this uh, underground, you're going to see that you don't have a lot of underground stuff happening. I mean, here and there you can have the... A tunnel or or railroad tunnel or something and of course you have these footpaths but most of them are not really being used uh, sorry the underground is not being used so whenever you have a chance of um, doing something underground do it this is uh, from a functionality perspective why because uh, sometimes you don't have an option to build the overpass but let's say that there was a railroad here and not a station and you wanted to build a station in this beautiful part of the of our capital Boschkino, uh, you would have to still demolish these overpasses and bin, build under it so whenever you can utilize uh, your construction to have underpasses rather than overpasses just because of practicality of them they will um it's more practical to have uh, underpasses because your ground level, well, everything is free. So, for example, you can plant a tree, you can build a building over this, but if it was overpass here or a footpath, you wouldn't be able to do any of that stuff. That would be just uh, earth surface thing. While underground, uh, it actually gives you a lot of opportunity to build over it. Anyway, this is just my two cents where uh, underpass, why underpasses are better. But uh, now back to the original Uliki that says form over function. Whatever you think it's more beautiful for your city, that's the thing that you need to build. It doesn't matter if it's overpass or underpass, as long as it's pretty and you're happy about it. That being said, let's move on. Right, a couple of things I forgot, like we have emergency imports of meats, so thank you for reminding me, you guys, in the comment section that I was a dumbass before and I didn't rename the lines uh, easy, well, earlier, but uh, I think you might understand why if you look at all, all this list here of the, state, of the lines that need to be renamed, and that only worse thing than this for me, naming all these lines, will be naming all these fields, because that's a thing that you guys suggested as well, that we should name our fields to which farm they belong to, and then assign them like that. Yeah, you like to see me suffer. That's... Uh, I'll remember that. Right, processing, gravel processing, we're actually done with gravel processing here, uh, we fixed this uh, burnt building, but good call, good call on this, I will just real quickly see, this is a gravel BN, let's go to line called 
EFG G G G G G Gravel B N. There we go. This one doesn't have a second station. You need to go here, unload this, and wait until unloaded. Perfect. Save it. Done. Second one is the uh, Gravel Y N. So Gravel Y N. Second page. Gravel Y N. Uh, after this, you need to go here. Unload gravel and wait until unloaded. Save. There we go. Gravel production back online. Well, as long as we get people here at one point, that would be quite nice. Fire station done. Uh, right. So I'm going to talk about the fire. We'll talk about this fire station for a second. So I'm going to go for one, two, three, and the ladder. Ladder is going to be important as well. So we have several buses delivering people here. Are they coming from both sides, both stations? We have, we have, thirty-five people. Okay, that's fine. Thirty-five people being delivered here to work in the fire station and both of these thirty plus five. But there's four of them. Are they from the same city? Do they come from the same city? Uh, copy gravel, copy gravel, copy gravel, copy gravel. Uh, you know what? Just to be smart about this, uh, I learned that from you guys. Just to be smart about this, I will be getting them additional line of buses uh, that are value that are related to this age. That would be where you know it's, uh, Let's go with capacity. I'm probably gonna find it easier with capacity. Capacity again. So these ones here, 35. Uh, color, 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 green. We don't have green ones. One and two. So two green buses. Uh, they're gonna go from Murmansk and they're gonna double up on our fire protection in this city. Fire protection slash slash uh, gravel processing because they're gonna help with both of those experienced people from from Murmansk. Uh, we'll be developing our country for time to come. So always, always, always good to see them. Workers of Murmansk are well known. There was this hero I heard about once long time ago somewhere. It was some kind of worker hero of the Soviet Union. Uh, his name was Tatanov. I tried searching a lot online, some even um, encyclopedia pages because it was, I think, even before Google when I heard about Tatanov, he was some kind of hero. I might, might have mentioned him here. I heard that name. I'm not saying that this person exists. I Maybe I am even heard it wrong, but um, Tatanov apparently was a real person and uh, uh, he was a hero of the Soviet Union and uh, a lot of, well, I think I don't know, monuments, but probably he was accredited to a lot. I don't know if he existed or not, but doesn't matter. The people needed this kind of motivation. So uh, this is something uh, that the best workers uh, of the the best workers so far, Soviet Republic Alaska, come from Murmansk. Um, it was similar. Was it in the the Chernobyl series as well? The, the best diggers, the biggest, best miners was there, like Chelyabinsk or... Yeah, Katarinenburg, I'm sorry, I don't know about the best mining towns. I know about these extreme ones like, you know, no reals, kind of that they're mine and nickel production and this kind of stuff. So they are quite um, um, quite proud people of that, doing that, even though no reals was a gulag prison initially, but now it's a city. Fortunately, unfortunately, controlled by uh, no reals nickel company controls everything anyway look i don't want to be arrested and by kgb even though i don't live there but anyway i don't want to uh, go into more details about that but uh, in the future we can anyway the best miners as far as i'm concerned and I'm, i might be wrong about this just a heads up on that in yugoslavia were the people from bosnia we had mines everywhere even croatia has even still has i think even coal mines i believe one or zero something like that but uh, even today the best the, the the most steel and the most mining is done in bosnia and herzegovina today is bosnia herzegovina especially around city of zenica uh, well zenica has a steel mill uh, the famous steel mill and the prison but steel mill and uh, 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 it's quite quite famous anyway uh less about that and let's oh, oh uh, i know that there was a big 
big, not really big, but decent sized aluminium or aluminum production in city of Shibenik in Croatian coast, uh, TLM, Tvornica Lakih Metala, that's the factory of the light metals. And um, uh, but the, the, uh, Croatia doesn't have so many mines like Bosnia and Serbia do, and even Kosovo. Kosovo had that. I'm mentioning it as a region. I'm not gonna classify. Uh, I'm not really gonna classify. Uh, what exactly uh, uh, Kosovo is because it's always fun to have a comment section about this personally I don't even have opinion on that I know it's difficult for everybody and I'm gonna leave it there but they have Trepcha mine it's one of the bigger mines in the in the region and probably potentially even the richer one let's call it let's call it a richer one that they have more resources they have a lot of resources there right we have a um, highway being finished here how far this one is being used in both directions and i think i'm gonna be leaving them at that so what i'm gonna be doing now is putting oh oh i thought i was more up to date than this nobody thought that not even me trust me so let's go one and two finish these petrol stations so we can put this in production how about highway is being used uh not so much i would think to like a hundred percent of cases that the best way from Murmansk to Nisesburg is this, but are people even use even the capital city area, is it? Well, actually, this creates another question. Who was it? Uh, was it Sitom, Stats, Vicom? Who actually said this, that number of nodes are being counted when you count the distance between two cities so how many nodes do we have here how can we recognize nodes the best probably like this and just count them i have to say that i'm actually surprised how many nodes uh these purple nodes this has because this is how the construction was uh, built how, how it worked but still i have my doubts uh, actually i don't know look at these nodes all those nodes here i ha i wanted to say i have my doubts that it has more nodes than the then this road here actually it probably does look at the amount of nodes we have here that's crazy that means that uh, it doesn't matter what the length of the road is if there's more nodes uh, on one road than the other they're gonna use the one with less nodes that's what i was told uh so i have to believe it i have to believe it always believe everything that you read on the internet we are done we're done with our uh with our well steel production let's call it well sorry the train production let's call it uh, i will just assign this distribution office to this can we do anything to speed this up coffee time okay continuing on uh what do we need what do we have here what do we have here uh i think i'm gonna have to wait for this distribution office to be done I can, can I distribute, do we have any other distribution around here? Uh, distribution of these materials. I can assign this temporarily because these guys are handling prefab, only for prefab panels. I thought they are handling bricks as well, but they're not too busy. Do I want to put pressure on them to deliver steel? Uh, actually, what do you need? Oh, it's just steel. Okay, that's interesting. But the rest of the stuff is going to be tricky as well. I think, you know what, I'll just wait for this. I'll just wait for this to be finished and we'll work from there. It only needs, no, well, to be finished. Okay, continuing on. We have a couple of other things what you guys said. So we fixed uh, the, no, fixed. I wanted to explain the situation with uh, industrial areas here because this was initially considered one industrial area. I thought that one fire department is going to cover the whole area here and uh well guess who was wrong uh as you can see here this is already functioning much better are we having people working in the quarries we do um one thing i will uh say to you guys these firefighters here they're important but what's more important to keep the gravel production up uh this is probably more important than this as you can see uh, we are working at 100 percent gravel well processing capacity and uh oh we have another quarry here Ooh. fancy oh two monuments yes 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 two monuments we need to build monuments monuments no helicopters mr copti no helicopter monuments 
Alyosha, we have Alyosha Marks. Ooh, Miss Uncle Joe, maybe Uncle Joe. Uh, do we have Marks here? We have Marks there. Uh, capital city is severely lacking uh, good monuments. So, Mr. Marks overlooking the city, but he has to have a nice view. Maybe, maybe here. You know what? Uh, let's go for this side. I like it here. This is a mod made by Bremer, Karl Marx, uh, bust. What's that? It's not really a statue. Statue should be the the full height. This is just the bust of uh, Karl Marx. Uh, and of course, this is going to be uh, in our capital city. I don't know, Babushka, if you're watching this. Do you have any objections of having Uncle Joe uh, in your capital city? Where's Uncle Joe? Here we go, Uncle Joe. We're gonna put Uncle Joe here uh, just to, you know, rattle some feathers, or no, rattle some cages. Uncle Joe, as a sports figure of the Soviet Union, I will put it right next to the um, to the uh, arena. And where is the one? Where is the clock? I want clock. Clock is epic. Uh, that's one of my favorite mods, actually. Uh, where is it? Interesting, interesting. We probably need some posters as well. I think we're gonna need some posters. What's this? Helicopter. Not yet, Mr. Copti, later. This is angles. I'm not gonna skip that one because that's uh, reserved uh, primarily for uh, for Statsovo. Uh, Joseph Stalin monument. Where's the clock? Clock tower? No, here's a corn. That's nice as well. Ooh, obelisk, obelisk, obelisk. I think we're severely missing a lot of well, monuments here. A little bit of trees as well, but I think monuments more so. So let's put one of these obelisks over here. Uh, right. I'm looking at uh, the clock tower. There we go, found it. Found it. This is definitely going to be next to the. Well, I, I would like to put it uh, next to most of our uh, uh, sports facilities, for I think it's kind of obvious reasons. But I don't know. Can we overdo with these clocks? I think also they belong 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 uh, close to the train stations as well. Do you want me to explain why? Uh, but I think they believe next to the train stations as well. So let's put a couple of monuments. So this would be four monuments here uh, that we need to build. So the rule is every time we lose, um, every time we lose uh, a building due to our incompetence. Uh, in this case, that would be the. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna increase this because even though excavator, okay, he's on site. Is he doing something or he's coming to site? Anyway, we need to finish this as soon as possible. I'm, I'm kind of uh, passionate about finishing this as soon as possible. Why is this stopping? Oh, right, right, right. This one is stopping because this is... This train here that is going this way is being influenced by this train over here. And I'm not kidding. This is a thing. Why? Because this unfinished railroad is counted like it's cutting through this railroad. And I have to physically, not physically, uh, I need to uh, separate it by semaphores. This railroad and this railroad in order for this to function. And this train here, you see, this one here with prefab panels, is influenced by this train crossing through this intersection. I believe so. Um, because... Okay, now he's not. Uh, because he passed through. I have no idea what the hell this is. I have no idea. Why are they interacting like this? Uh, maybe it's good. Maybe it's set of rules. It would be nice to have an explanation how this works. Actually, I still didn't finish the tutorials. I think I made tutorials before they were actually in-game. But uh, uh, I, I definitely need to uh, finish tutorials uh, to understand everything better. What is this? So these guys are delivering coal ore over here. 
as a um, backup for our coal consumption. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. It's only for domestic consumption anyway, so wherever it comes from doesn't really matter. Uh, food, that's fine. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, oh, replanting trees. We definitely, this is what I hate doing as well. I hate replanting trees like this. I know it's cheap, it's free, it's cheating and not because they're use, useless. They're not so useful in the game. I mean, like, of course, for boards, but, you know, like, I, I would like us to have the... The, the the tree hugger house or the the what's it called what's it called in settlers and elsewhere when they replant the trees nursery tree nursery but it's the different planter uh, I forgot there's there's a name for it it's not tree nursery it's not nursery it's something it's not even a planter it's a forester forest is forester only for planting was it in these games and then woodcutter was a different but maybe it's a forester I think maybe maybe Right, uh, this is a success, this highway tunnel connecting Galask and Weltir, uh, which kind of alleviated traffic, where there was no problems, but alleviated uh, traffic from from this area of Stasov. So how are we doing with uh, supplies over here? Alcohol is slowly stacking up, which is fine. Uh, is the food stacking up here or the food is uh, being balanced? I don't know. We definitely have too much capacity for alcohol and clothing so i'm gonna go for really like this maybe alcohol and clothing we don't need to have them in these amounts not probably not even these amounts that are set at the moment i can always increase amount of the fourth uh commodity that is never going to be delivered so it's going to lower all the capacities so we don't have anything there but i don't think we have any issues with this the issues what we have with is the meat production. Meat production is, uh, I think, running at the limits. But also, it's not only meat production, it uh, is also crop production. So let's go do a little bit of a math. So we haven't touched the, the crop production for a while. We did, the last thing we did was set up the new farm and started emptying the new farm next to Murmansk. Actually, you know what? In the last episode, I noticed something beautiful. Uh, if we go over here... You can actually see how beautiful, at least for me, this is beautiful, how hills above Murmansk on this side are so golden and nice. Uh, I, I kind of thought that this was just a canyon, like a little sea level canyon or just a little bit uh, above sea level, but it's actually ascending. I never realized this. Uh, kind of realized that these are ascending, but I think this looks beautiful. So if you're a tenant somewhere in, let's say, these buildings, uh, this is what you're going to be seeing, the canyon full of golden uh, wheat ears fields let's go with fields uh golden fields of wheat and then you know on the left hand side you have our mining area there and it's weird combination but you know uh smokestacks and uh, uh crop production but anyway um what i wanted to say the last thing we did food wise was develop this uh this area here and now we're using most of this for chemical production. In the last episode, we started with this chemical production and we never addressed the chemical distribution. We said that chemical distribution needs to be stored somewhere. And I totally forgot where we said it's going to be stored. I'm going to assume that we said here. And I think we should... Let me see this. These guys, how are you guys doing? How are you doing? They seem to be doing fine. Uh, the problem with this is, so this forklift garage doesn't give us an option to percentage, to what percentage they need to be filled. At least I don't see any. Because these guys are taking, uh, oh, that's their actual capacity. Okay. But what about this one? Oh, he brought something. So how much you gonna get? Okay, full. Okay, they're running it full. Okay, that's fine. Let them eat cake. Let them d d d run it full. Okay, okay, okay. So, what I'm gonna do now is uh, focus on distribution of chemicals. First of all, we need to empty this factory because uh, this is full. They are producing crap load of chemicals. That would be one thing. The second thing would be actual distribution of this. How do I do this? Is this spot born to be wild? Born to be... Uh, set as our distribution or we can do something like here but there's a minefield of these electrical cables that i build unfortunately this is 
Could have I done this better with these cables? Probably I could. In the future I will. I will build more uh, substations, sorry, transformer stations. And I'm going to be pushing the cables, you know, one big cable and then smaller and smaller rather than having four of these coming in one direction. Okay, if that was a band, right? One direction or something. Okay, distribution, 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 distribution office of chemicals. Ooh, did we say that we maybe want to have a different type of distribution of chemicals? Ooh, maybe we do. Um, Mr. Stutz, Mr. Stutz, Mr. Stutz. Yes, 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 yes. Um, uh, there was something that I uh, was interested in hearing from you guys, and uh, this was a different, like, how to utilize your highways the best. What I'm going to go for value just to see, actually, let's go with capacity and see which one fits in this. You know what? I might go for a cheat here. I might go for a cheat with these uh, big Mars trucks just because I want to use them more. I actually don't think it's that much of a cheat. Nine tons of chem... I mean, yeah, of course it is. But nine tons of chemicals for for this truck. You know what? I think I'm going to go for a few of these. One, two, three, four. What I'm going to do now is going to set up a distribution to every single part of our country. So you're going to be loading chemicals here. And wherever we need chemicals, first of all, it's going to be Galask. They're going to be delivered by these trucks. Uh, go here and unload chemicals. That's it. This is how the things are going to work. So this is Galask uh, deliver. Deli Ooh, you know what? How are they going to go to Galask? This is interesting. How would you go to Galask from here? Why am I asking this stupid question? Because we have two options. There's like through the hills. There's no way. So they can go either through this zigzaggy road near Markusovo or they would go all the way here to uh, the highway and then through the tunnel to Galask. This is actually quite interesting. What the truck thinks is the best way to get to Galask. I will do this. Where is you? Scooby-Doo. Here we go. I think this is Scooby-Doo. He's going to be... Uh, I'm going to be monitoring him in a second. While he's going to load the chemicals, I'm going to set up at least one more. Uh, so you're going to go here. This is a chemical storage. So I'm going to tell him go to chemicals and load chemicals and you will deliver chemicals. Stop saying chemicals over here, I believe, and unload chemicals. Off you go. Just off you go. Don't bother anybody else. Uh, was the chemical situation here? Not a lot. I think we should probably increase this. I don't think we have enough space here for this. Uh, another big chemical consumer is plastics, which we are actually outsourced now. Uh, oh, plastics. Mr. 18 AM plastics. The plastic man. Uh, right. So we're going to go for another one. Uh, that would be chemicals over here. Load chemicals and bring them to Murmansk area. Murmansk area is over here and unload chemicals. That's it. Will this be enough? One truck per storage? I have no idea. Uh, this guy is loading chemicals. Perfect. Uh, let's go for the last one. Uh, well, last one. Last one we have set up over here. L real quickly, we need to set this one up. That would be the capital city area. Uh, chemicals, uh, chemicals, chemical brothers, and then go off you go, close this, and let's see the truck. Okay, he decided to go to Murmansk, I'm not done with him, he decided to go through Murmansk, will, we, will he choose highway, or will he choose the bypass, I'm 99% sure he's gonna go for highway, because, come on, surely, from Murmansk to uh, wealthier and to Galask, I think the highway is the best choice. But we'll see. You never know. And then we have... What's this? This is uh, some weird experimentation we had. I need to buy another vehicle. We're missing the last one. Covered hull. Covered hull all the way in the back. Not really. A little bit less. There we go. 200,000. This is a big truck. Maz Minsk Autozavod. It's the whole name. I have a feeling that I might have put one truck in a wrong direction, but um, I'll, I'll load in the wrong place. But I'll check this. So Minsk Autozavod would go here and unload chemicals. I'm really hoping that I didn't mess this up. Uh, so off you go. 
Okay, and uh, truck, leave him, leave him alone. Uh, the second one going to whale tier is the tricky one. The tricky one. Is this one going to whale tier? Yes, he is. Okay, he is going to right, uh, to right location. Perfect. So storage area here is being loaded with chemicals, and I think this is crap load of chemicals. Okay, where are you? Let's... Oh, train crossing, really? There was a train passing? All right, I think this area is going to see a lot of train traffic. That's not going to be good. Uh, let's go this, let's go like this, and... Uh, how do you guys like to watch this? I mean, like, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, um, a crap load of you are freaks like me that enjoy stuff like this, you know, watching the fruits of your labor. Do you like to watch the trucks doing, go like this or for the first person view? And then with the middle mouse button, you can actually go left and right and see what's happening. Now, the problem with this is every bump in the road is going to be quite well seen. And I'm not really a big fan of that. So this is our uh, Murmansk farm, farm that's close to Murmansk, the supplying. Who? what would be a good chemical plant? What plant would be used for chemical production? Uh, I have no idea. Some weird one. Uh, not weird one, of course, you can use a lot of them, but uh, actually, I don't know. Some weird flowers for medical purposes. I'm probably messing this up cra uh, like badly. Ooh, look at this. Now this is Murmansk here to the left. Wow, it looks really nice. I'm actually quite happy about this. Now he's gonna go left here. Go left. <laughs> he's going left. He's going on the highway. <laughs> okay, let's see what kind of view we can get of Murmansk from highway. Oh, look at this. Okay, now power cables are gone. We can't spin it anymore left, so sorry about this, guys. Control G. Let's go for another view like this and control G. We can now look from all sides. So maybe like this. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Look at the ones there. And then the bay area there. Unfortunately, we're going down. Uh, look, you know what? We can have the whole episode like this. I know. And I'm pretty sure that most of you would like to see this as well. But we have other stuff to do. Uh, ships, ships, ships. Uh, where the hell are... Okay, ships are... Yeah, the dogs are busy. Dogs are busy. I'm happy to see that. Uh, that's fine. How are we progressing with the roads on the other side of the... Other side of this bay. Uh, roads are done. They need the footpaths to be finished. Go and do that, my son. And then uh, use the force, Luke. Force it in, Luke. Um, that's from Family Guy. Force it in, Luke. And this one also needs to be forced in, Luke. There we go. Go ahead and finish that. Uh, what's happening with the railroad production in Babushkino? Babushkino is looking peachy, but like I said, uh, Babushkino needs to have almost triple the population. Uh, we are finishing some of the buildings here and people are moving here, but I have a feeling that this is not finished by a long shot. Uh, we're going to need to finish these uh, tunnels. They are being built by Capital Footpath and Footpath Murmansk. No, you need to be built by everybody. So they need the people to finish this stage of construction. So that's, that means buses, Capital Bus, because they're going to need a lot of people. Well, actually only 50 can fit, but they're going to need people to finish this uh, stage. A lot of, a lot of bricks. Uh, are they having enough trucks? Uh, no, they don't. Uh, actually, this is going to require not only that, but I'm going to give them capital one. And uh, the second one here, I'm going to go with capital two. Uh, even though I don't think this one... No, that this one... Oh, they're assigned. How the hell is that possible? Okay, capital uh, two. Because they're going to need a lot of bricks. Well, a lot of them is already delivered. But anyway, they need to finish that. This one requires workers to finish this. Uh, actually, all, a lot of workers are on site already. What's with this? They are working on it. That's fine. Let's have more people working on this because this is done. This is done on both sides. Uh, what about this? This one is done too. It just needs more people to work on it. So go, 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 storm the front. And under passages are going to be done as well. Okay, so uh, this is this part is, as previously mentioned, done. I can... What do you think? Is this, guys, an overkill? So if we go and build this, 
so I'm gonna remove this. Uh, just Mr. Manuel uh, gave me a thing or two to think about and let's go with pedestrian overpass now. This is what I wanted to build now. Uh, I wanted to build it because we have all the underpasses and this is maybe overpass for train watchers. I bet some of you like trains. I love trains but I don't think I'm actually that knowledgeable about trains like some people are and I would like to learn more. Uh, uh, I bet this is gonna be a sweet spot for train watchers. Okay, and then build this all the way here, constructed, and then overpass. I never built this steel overpass before. I think this is gonna be a nice one. Okay, uh, I was thinking of doing that on the opposite side, but uh, we're not done deciding what the railroad is gonna look like here, and probably I'm gonna need to connect this to the rest of the network. Looks like this part here is uh, lagging behind a bit. What the problem is? Again, bricks. Uh, for some reason, we are getting a lot of steel here. And it looks like the steel is being forced in. I don't know how is this possible. But you can see that we have a lot of steel uh, in this area. So this one is waiting to be... Ah, right. I know why. Because when the train leaves, it fills in with full of steel and when they don't don't finish this section they return all the steel but in the meantime these steel trucks are pushing the steel in so i need to what do i need to do here yeah the, the bricks were never delivered maybe i just need to let's try this let's remove some of the steel from here and some of the prefab panels because i'm hoping that this is gonna bring um bricks in here because we need bricks this is i think this is a really bad i think we need storage facility for this i think uh, the, the railroad construction office needs to have a storage facility or not to force these guys with steel here but steel was quite necessary initially it will be again but uh, currently bricks are the 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 bottleneck because every single construction of this bridge requires a lot of bricks, but many, like five times more steel than bricks. So, in average, in average. So, they need a lot of steel, but uh, currently they're missing bricks. And these capacity issues uh, that we have at the moment is obviously a big problem. So, hopefully now uh, we should have trucks coming in here delivering bricks. I'm just going to check this out. Flatbed. This is the steel one. And here we go. We have load 74% out of 14 tons. That would be the more or less more or less the capacity of of this 10 ton, 11 ton brick storage. Okay, that's gonna be resolved. Uh, let's go St. Thomasburg. St. Thomasburg, what's happening with this one? We are putting the street lights here. This is done. It needs nuclear path. Nuclear path, go and finish this lighting system on these roads, and that will be it. Uh, we we're gonna put this road in production. Uh, they, it's gonna be assigned and we will uh, lit the other side of the road. So if we go to capital footpath -dum -tum 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 -tum, I'm betting crap a lot of this is done so the farm can be put in production soon. It's July. We're not gonna finish it this year. So leave it alone. Let's leave it alone for now. Uh, footpaths. Footpaths. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this manually. Uh, footpaths. There we go. Nuclear footpaths. You have work to do, but that's only because of the electrical components. We will be putting one and a two and a three. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And here we go, here we go. All of these guys just require a little bit of something, something. Probably just workers and I just assigned crap load to the same project. Well, anyway, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so we're gonna have highway going all the way here. Uh, I will probably cut it somewhere, or I'm just gonna do... I don't know. I, I left space. I, I did leave space here to extend the highway. So I left space with, even with this uh, fuel station here. You can build a highway without any worries, whatever. Uh, so we, we will be able to rebuild this road and have this gas station serve as the highway. Uh, probably should build more of them somewhere around here or something. But anyway, when they're done with the road, I will be uh, putting in production, upgrade the second road with uh, streetlights, and that should be it. 
I can see here that we have to upgrade some of these footpaths. Do we build the farms first? Yeah, let's go with the farms. I'm pretty sure that these buses here are busy less. So let's go and upgrade some of these. Oh, sorry, finish these farms. Uh, forms. Forms. There we go. And the substation. And the Batman symbol. And what's this? This is the short one. Footpath. Nuclear footpath. One more project for the footpath. And this is going to be done soon. After this. Ooh, they have access from the other side. Come on, come on. We need to build more. They have access from the other side. So let's go for uh, this one first. They have access from here. Okay, they need to build this, so I'm not going to mess with this, uh, with the roads, because every single one of these constructions, they I just send buses there. So I'm not going to mess with that, but this road can be constructed because... Oh, dumbass. No, I'm still going to have issues with this. Um, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. Okay, no nodes, no nodes. Uh, what about... There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, they have access from the other side, so whatever needs to be done, needs to be done. Uh, St. Thomasburg. St. Thomasburg here requires... I, mistakes could have been made. I think I assigned a lot of footpaths everywhere. Uh, buses should have these covered hulls, so they can finish some of these roads. Uh, road here, usually should have... road. Oh, right, they're done with a crap lot of these. Okay, okay. Let's focus, focus, people, focus. Key, 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 key. Road, there we go. Uh, let's go. Uh, do you have projects to finish? You do. Okay, these projects. Uh, let's start with these. Uh, put road on the side. What's this project? This is... This one requires... People, really? Concrete delivered? Yeah, okay. So this one, these, these two obviously they require buses. So how many buses do we have free? Well, actually zero now. Okay, road on a side burner. Go away. Uh, we need this road and we need this road constructed as soon as possible. These roads are gonna already assigned to be constructed. Uh, what's with the other roads? Oh crap. I have a feeling that a lot of these roads are assigned to a road. Con what? None of them? What are you doing then? Okay, I have my doubts that these guys are maybe assigning some work that they actually don't need, that doesn't need to be done. Uh, concrete, unfinished road, what's this? Okay, that, that's the one. What's this one? Factory connection, where is this? Path is assigned to it, okay. This is being resolved, what's with this one? Uh, path assigned. Okay, what? Okay, so crap lot of these small roads are the farm ones. Okay, I assigned a lot of them. Let them finish this. And then we'll see how this is gonna look. So we have... Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, Mr. Seatom is really happy about the uh, cathedral here. Uh, St. Thomasburg Orthodox Cathedral. And then we have the building here that's gonna be built Stalinist Empire style. Well, it's, it's not. It's actually Baltic, but still it's going to have the sickle and hammer on top. It's going to look like Lomosov, Lomonosov University in Moscow. Just a smaller version of it. I think it's going to look perfect for, for that area. Okay, Mr. Bill, Mr. Nisesberg, how are we doing here? Okay, do we have to call out Mr. Bill for something? Do we build something in between the railroad and, the, and here? What was the capacity? What's the population here? We did extend population a little bit. Maybe we should address some of the issues they have. Uh, kindergarten, kindergarten. Well, what about an employment? 400 people only. You know what? I'll build a kindergarten. Uh, how many? You know what? Let's go for a big one. It's going to look uh, similar to... Why is this building different? I thought I used the same building. Guess who's, who was wrong? Uh, right. So let's go for kindergarten. Here we go. Okay, medium, but this is quite big medium. <laughs> What's this? Small kindergarten. 15? Really? No, no, I'm gonna go for uh, this medium here. Uh, 
I, as a kid, would love if I was, my kindergarten was next to train fueling station. I would be crazy about trains if that was the case. So, I think I'm doing these kids a favor. Kids, adore your leadership. Not me, leadership. Party. Party above everything. There we go. So this can be constructed by capital city uh, reconstruction offices. Uh, these guys have some work to do. Come on, come on. We need to build this. Footpaths hopefully are going to be built on their own. That's fine. What else do you guys need? Spirituality, f food. Did I hear food? Shop. Okay. Food. Well, I'm pretty sure they go for a bus and then get food, but uh, even the bus is not that close. You know what? Uh, yeah, you know what? Let me see if I can fit this in. But I wanted to build another, like, uh, you know, big... Big plan, big business. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay. Uh, let's do it like this. Uh, is this even a viable option? Should we do this? What about this connection here? I'm pretty sure they're gonna be using this. I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be fine. It's just, uh, you know, uh, is it actually helping? Uh, I think it actually does. We'll see. Well, let's let's build it. If we build it, he will come. Okay, uh, so this is another pass, so they can have easier access to the bus station. And I see the idiocracy of this. It might not be the best thing I ever made. But look, it's still gonna be here and then zigzag here. I think it's gonna be closer than going around. But anyway. Let, let, let me, let, let's finish this first. This is for the bus station and then the public transport system would be this. Are you transporting any? How many people are waiting? Not many. This is workers. Huh. Anyway. Anyway, coffee time for me. Why does this have all overhead cables or whatever is there? That's interesting. Anyway. Anyway, uh, what else do we have? Uh, nothing here, nothing here. Let's go to Wailtier. Wailtier has several projects that we wanted to start on. And we actually finished the bus station. That could be a big problem. Well... That was one of the steps that we needed to take in order to resolve the traffic issue with uh, Wealthier. First of all, that we have a bigger bus station now. Uh, do we need to redo some of the lines? Maybe we do. Maybe we do. Uh, new uh, Nizhny Wealthier workers. N. Wealthier. Let's go with this one first. So N. Wealthier. That would be under N. Wealthier workers. Okay, currently it goes like this. One, two, three. Okay, from now on, we're going to change this. My only problem here is that these people from here, from north part of the city, might not be in range of this. Actually, actually they are. Almost everybody. Okay. Well, I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, number one station, you need to go away. We're going to get the new number one station. So this would be... This one, uh, go away, save. There we go. So we, we have a new bus line. Okay, perfect. Off you go. Uh, so that would be several buses. Actually, six of them. That's quite nice. Okay, we need to deal uh, with all of the buses, but uh, bear in mind that uh, many, many Murmansk Express, uh, many, many of them are actually uh, on lines. So this on the yeah, lines. Murmansk Express, Murmansk Express. What the hell are you doing? Murmansk Express. Here we go. Murmansk Express is going all the way to Murmansk and back. Right. I have my doubts about this line. I think this was the line... Uh, what are you even transporting? People? Kids to school? That sounds like a bad idea. And vice versa. I think that we should have a public transport system, but I also think that this is quite useless. 
uh, Murmansk Express. Uh, it's transporting workers to go to work on the other side of the country. Oh, this is Meat Express. Uh, Murmansk Express, here we go. Well, you know what? Just not to mess with this right now, I will leave it alone. I will assign it here. I'm 100%, 99% sure that I should just uh, remove it altogether. But uh, just for the, you know, not to have any uh, negative review from our, you know, people, I will just assign it to a new station. Fishing industry. Okay, let's go with fishing industry. That's a big one. Uh, fishing industry would be under F. I'm smart that way. Uh, in fishing industry, there we go. This alone is five different uh, vehicles. Okay, so Nizhny Welter bus station, you're gonna be uh, redirected here, and then this bus station will be removed. Perfect, go away. Uh, there we go. And where are they going to go? Okay, they're going nice way. We're going to alleviate a lot of traffic from here. And when we demolish this station, we can actually rebuild the last segments of the uh, old city center, old whale tier city center. The new ones is going to be on the new one is going to be on the seaside. The wharfs. I don't know. It's just an idea. Obviously, this, this is not... Uh, set in stone okay uh, so let's see how many okay that, that's already a little bit easier construction express what the hell is construction express i'm telling you guys i should sit down and uh, make an episode it's gonna be like freaking 15 episodes construction express was the bus line that sped up construction uh in murmansk uh, like i said just to keep the peace in the house no you know what you know what's the problem the problem is that uh, these workers in whale tier, the unemployed people of whale tier, they're just driving around in buses and they're still unemployed in the end. So this is the problem. I need to probably st stop these things. You know what? I'm going to put a new, uh, new stage of our lives. So this construction express, I will make sure that they have additional... Uh, you know what? I didn't have to clean this. I will make sure that they have additional... Um, uh, uh, support from Murmansk. I'm just gonna uh, go away. I'm just gonna go and remove them. I could have put them to storage. We have a little bit more space in in capital city area, but I need to be sure that they have people uh, gravitating towards here. W where are you coming? M Murmansk Industrial. Okay, there are, we have a couple of people, a couple of buses delivering workers here. Okay, so this one is fine. What about the other one? What's the other one? What, what, what's your, the other one name? Tell me. Murmansk Express. Yeah, that's the one. Murmansk Express. Uh, let's go for Murmansk Express. I, I see no, no need for this one. If I'm missing something, I'm just going to remove them from the circulation right now. And uh, I'll, I'll reinstate them if you guys think, if you guys, if there's any issues there. Murmansk Express. There we go. So we have one, two, three. There we go. Three of you go to depot. You're not going to be in service anymore. I will use them when I can, unless you guys tell me that there's a reason for their being. Okay. Uh, continuing on. Unknown. Let's go with the ones that are known. Nizhny Weltier Public. Okay. Nizhny Weltier Public. Let's see what you are. And Weltier, Nizhny Weltier Public. Here we go. Let's see who are you. Who are you? You have three buses. Harmonica buses. Where are you going? Why are you not showing me the route? Uh, well, I'm missing something here. I'm missing the route. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Near, oh, that's Jesus. What the hell is wrong with me? Uh, this was Nisisburg. Uh, Nizhny Weltier Public. Here we go. Okay, this is simple. Uh, first station, you go here. I'm pretty sure we already have similar named line. I'll double up on this one. And just say yes. 
Oh, that's fine. I think this should be okay. Uh, I think they're gonna take a few seconds to be redistributed to other stations, so they might show that we have a little bit more than we actually do. I have a... I have a feeling that we have still one of those situations where we have buses that lost at the end station. Like this one, yeah. For some reason we removed the station and uh, uh, he doesn't have home anymore or a route. So he's parked at the first place he finds. Okay, you dude. Uh, what are you doing? Statsovo, Nizhny Veltir. Okay, this is a student bus. Uh, and he's going here. Instead of after Statsovo, you need university. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. Because oh, you know what? No, it's not. No, it's not. Where is it? Ah, darn it! I lost the bus. Doesn't matter. I'll come back to it. So let's go this one. This is uh, Food Express. Food Express. Oh, right. This is the important one. Let's go for Food Express. The Food Express was the one that was uh, Food Express that was supplying workers and it's still the supplying workers and it will supply workers to uh, Galask uh, food production because uh, I still think we need to subsidize it with a little bit more workers and probably this is the future of uh, probably this is the future of uh, our Galask uh, food well, industries that uh, we're gonna have locals uh, running the show and then we're gonna have workers being shoveled in from other cities that have extra workforce uh, to deal with I probably should stop these guys coming everywhere because this bus stop needs to well, stop operating okay but that's, that can stop some of the industries as well whale tier new coal uh, whale tier new coal now this is a problem when you start naming your stations differently so let's go like this go here and bus station here go away and there we go new route perfect what else do we have oh ha, only two buses left and those two are as previously mentioned they are going from markusovo uh, to here but they're only delivering students so i will remove this station from both of them uh, because they're only delivering students to university in nizhny wild here so this is one of those uh, lines one from uh, statsovo one from markusovo delivering students to university here because markusovo and statsovo are small towns that they don't have university and there we go finally it's done this station has no more place over here we do have uh, big, big plans that we're not going to start on in this episode, but I would like to address a couple of issues. Not really issues, but a couple of things. I think we need to remove this building as well. We'll see about the kindergarten, but definitely this building has to go. Uh, so I'm going to resettle these people. How many people do we have even? 52,000, 3,000 living with their parents. What about these buildings? Are they full? Not even close. That's perfect. Because we're gonna need some space for these people. I would wish they had uh, we had more space closer to uh, closer to the shops and everything that people need. So we don't, uh, you know, because these buildings are on the edge, and I don't want these buildings that to uh, to disappear. Let me just see if we finished all of this. No, we didn't. They have all the people here. Oh, this is gonna be done in seconds. That that should be fine. And, and that tunnel is done. Uh, what I'm saying is when you resettle people, they reset their needs. So they have to go to the shops and all that stuff again. This is going to be done in seconds. You can see nine working days and there's 50 people working. Seven. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to count this. So I'm going to go and remove all of this. And we have building removed from here. So this is the future public transport system. And look at this. This is this public transport system. When we build a station over here or somewhere around here, it's going to cover this part of the city as well. And then the last one can be somewhere around here. Potentially maybe closer on the opposite side of road. So we don't have uh, any... So we don't have any problems with uh, with the traffic so we don't interrupt traffic because this is going to be tra tram or really really light rail we'll decide we'll let mr Wailtier decide what he wants here but this is what i was thinking about uh you know what go away go away go away let's be disruptive here disruptive disruptive i'll fix this town and this is going to be the last to fix ha! 
Hardly. Uh, pause, pause, pause. You're gonna have this bypass. That's fine. Uh, so oh, I knew it. I knew it as soon as I started doing this. I knew it. Okay. Okay, okay. Disruptive technologies. Disruptive technologies. That's me. I'm disruptive technology. Okay, build this. That's fine. Uh, power lines. Re uh, yeah. You know what? We need this build quickly. I will not. I will still build it like this. Oh, bollocks. Okay. Nobody can build this. Okay, let's let's try to be smart about this. I'll. Ooh. Ooh. It's actually this one here. Do we even need you here? Probably for, for fuel station. But do we need this fuel station? Oh, looks like we don't. Looks like we don't. Who else is uh, on this power supply? It's, uh, go away, go away, go away. I don't care what about this one. Oh, they have coverage. We have double up. Perfect. Oh, crap. That's not even connected to this one. Where is this one connected to? Ah, oh, darn it. Uh, actually, it was wrong. You see what happens when you're acting like a dumbass? The karma comes back and bites you in the ass. So where even this electricity is coming? Is it coming from here? It looks like it's coming from here because these look like they are connected to the power plant here. Uh, right. I have no idea. Okay, let's uh, follow the other side. Uh, it's coming here. Oh, crap. This is problem. Because from here it looks like it goes in two different directions. Okay, there's not much we can do here, but uh, we have to bite the bullet and rebuild this. Rebuild this. Is this? And there we go. Be be please be one construction. Oh, no, it's two. Uh, right. Uh, you go away, go away, and let's go one. You know what? Let's be. Even though this is disruptive for us, and we need to go underground here, and we will go underground, I will still rebuild this overground because it's important. So we have this one, General Whale Tier, go and build this. Uh, road is going to be done by automation, that's fine. And uh, most of the stuff here needs to stay as it is. We need to. You know what? I think I need to stop right now. We're going to have disruptions in Whale Tier. That's, that's period. We're going to have disruptions with power. Uh, I will go and build underground cable straight away. So I'm going to go and do this right away. We're running out of time. Where is this even going? Oh, it's going here. Sure, whatever, whatever. Uh, F3, big cables. Big boys use big cables. There we go. Ah, oh, bollocks. Okay, there we go big cables and this needs to be done by whale tier whale tier should have everything here it doesn't look like it's gonna be too tough 120 uh, 72 days to finish okay go away i probably need to start the building uh, redundancy for these guys here where the hell are you connected this is this area this part of the city is is being difficult okay no, let's stop it here. We're going to stop it here. We're going to extend this in the next episode. We're going to work on the public transport system in well tier, but in the next episode. Now, I'm going to say, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comments. Like, oh, they even have electricity. Oh, there's no... Okay. Oh, well, maybe it's not that bad. Oh, that's probably the famous last words. There's no power supply. Okay. Uh, like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, you have the description of the video. Guys, thank you for everything. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.